Erica, my final question for you is in terms of networking, we know that networking is a very important part in the job search. A lot of times the job is not advertised and through networking, people find uh, the right candidates. So what tips do you have for job seekers, international students who are not used to networking? And nowadays, everything is becoming on Zoom or part of it in person, but they are afraid to network and they don't know what to do. Sure. Um, I think networking itself, that phrase can be kind of intimidating mm -hmm. and the stakes feel really high. So I do think it's, it can be helpful to reframe it just as a career conversation. Mm -hmm. And who are the people with whom you'd like to discuss your next steps in your career? If you, there's no one, if you really don't have any contacts there, then you would just start with your inner circle, your friends, your family, talking to them, saying, yeah. these, are, these are my skills. Who should I talk to next? Ask every person that you are sharing this conversation with. What are two or three people that you think I should talk to next? Yeah. Just by asking that simple question, they'll share more and more individuals and you can just schedule these very brief chats, yeah. not high stakes conversations, 10 to 15 minutes, mm -hmm. something anyone could fit in their schedule. Even if they're driving um, somewhere, they're waiting in line somewhere and they wanna sneak in a phone call. Go ahead, put some of those numbers into your phone so that you're ready to make the best use of that time. Just tell them where you are um, with your career, with the things that you're working on and excited about. Ask yeah. them questions mm -hmm. about how they got to the level they came to, um, to excel. And you know, just saying, I respect you. I just love to have a few tips. Yeah. Make sure when you're asking these types of questions, it's an easy ask. Yeah. Right. You could just say, what book would you recommend? Is there a podcast you like listening to? Mm -hmm. By doing that, you're making them feel good about themselves, yeah. right? That they have a little bit of, of time to give you those few things, even if they're very swamped. Yeah. And then that starts the conversation for you. If at all possible, add value mm -hmm. before you ask for anything, yeah. right? Whether it's a few tips on, on their LinkedIn profile whether it's uh, you finding that they had a book published online and you offer to review it for them. Mm -hmm. By yeah. you being generous upfront, you're more likely to kind of establish that sort of goodwill that yeah. would engender them into your favor. Yeah, and I always tell my client that when you are sending on LinkedIn net, uh, connection requests, make sure that you're sending a message and personalize it. Hi, Erica. I saw your interview with Meher. I really enjoyed the conversation. I'd like to hear more from you. Or I saw that you are publishing a book. I'd like to hear more about it because people will talk about it. And that will also give kind of an icebreaker why I need to connect with you because people are bombarded with a lot of requests. And if you don't send that message, the personalized message, people might not accept you. Very true. It can also help within your LinkedIn profile to add a couple of conversation points, maybe at the bottom of the about section, yeah. or even including a couple of interesting volunteer endeavors that you're um, affiliated with. Because then when people are trying to decide, do I wanna to respond to this message? Is mm -hmm. there anything I could talk about with this person? You've kind of provided a few talking points yeah. for them as well. Yeah. Those are great tips, Erica. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation and Thank you for being here, my last guest for 2021. And for the audience watching or listening, and if you have other tips in terms of networking, please leave them below. And I really uh, want to thank you for the listeners watching me for the whole year. And I'm going to take a few weeks break for the holiday times. And I'll be joining in 2022 with more guests uh, popping up. And again, Erica, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Happy holidays. Thank you.